Hello, welcome to the Maya Tool Belt. This is Michael. Today I want to talk about the curves menu command smooth. This will smooth a curve. There's two kinds of smooth commands here in the curves menu. The top one, if we go into the options for it, you'll see smooth factor slider. But if we go to this bottom one down here, smooth options, we have a smoothness slider. So they're definitely different. We're going to talk about this one here at the bottom, the smooth curve command down here under the edit section. There's modify and then there's edit. So the edit section has a smooth curve command and the modify section has a smooth curve command. So we're looking at the edit section under smooth right here. Now in order to have a curve too smooth, I would need to make one. Now I'm going to use a new tool that I haven't really used in these videos before as of this recording called the pencil curve command. Let's go to create curve tools. And here we have pencil curve tool. If I select this, my cursor becomes a pencil icon and I can literally left click and drag and draw like this. And let go and it creates a curve. It's pretty cool. Now because I use my mouse to draw this, you can see it's not exactly perfect. It's kind of wibbly wobbly through here and it's not perfectly smooth. So this could be very useful for the smooth curve command. So let's go to curves down here toward the bottom under the edit section of smooth. Let's look into the options and I'll say edit reset settings. And here we have a smoothness slider like we looked at briefly before and the smoothness value by default is set to 10. So let's hit smooth and see what happens. So you can see if we hit undo and redo you can kind of see the difference that happens. You can especially see like right here in this section where the curve is especially uh, uneven. I can apply that smooth command. You see it's smooth, much smoother through here. So undo, this is before the smooth. Redo, this is after the smooth was applied. And that's kind of all there is to it for the most part. Uh, you just hit apply and it smooths your curve out with a smooth value in determining how smooth it is. Now, how can you control that after the fact? Let's say you want to fine tune this. Well, let me undo from before the smoothness happens. So it's, here it is unsmoothed. And I'll go back to the curves menu, smooth options. And here I'll check the keep original checkbox. Like many of these curve commands, you don't have any kind of history to edit when you apply these commands unless you choose to keep the original curve and then you have a history connection that can be edited. So with keep original turned on, I'll have the curve selected and hit smooth. So now you can see I've duplicated the curve and the duplicate has become smoothed. You can still see the original curve here and the smoothed curve here. I'll move the smoothed one over here off to the side. Well, because there's a history now, I can change the shape of this curve all I want to. And you can see here the smoothed one will also change. But however, you see the change is after the smooth. So if I can, for example, grab some points here and make some really drastic changes, you can see here the changes are not nearly as drastic because this has been smoothed out. It's taking this curve, even with all these uneven bends and angles that I'm adding in and it's smoothing it. Okay. So with the smooth curve selected, you can see here under inputs, I have smooth curve one and the smooth value. I can also hit control A to go to the attributes. Look at the smooth curve one tab here. And I also have again, that smoothness value. So I can zoom in here a little bit and we can adjust that smoothness value. And you can see if I take it down to zero, we're back to our original curve shape, even including all the edits I've made to it. And then we can increase this value all the way up to 100, and you can see the difference that we get. So very handy for curves that are especially drawn with a mouse or something like, like I did here, as well as any curves that have some irregular uh, curve shapes to them, you can smooth them out with this smooth command. Now one thing to keep in mind, let me delete these, and I'll go back to my create curve tools, CV curve tool options, 
And if you use if you use a linear curve degree to create your curve, and linear means that the curve is quite literally sharp angles all throughout, hit enter, and I have something like this. If I try to smooth this, it actually will not work because the curve's original uh, curvature or original degree is set to one or linear. You can see here in the attributes, my degree is one. So if I go to curves, smooth, and I'll even go to the options, say keep original, and hit smooth. While it does create a curve node, there is a curve that was created. If we go to the outliner, you see here, curve one, smooth curve one has been created. It is essentially a null object. I select it, you see here, my min max value is zero to zero. I have zero spans and a zero degree. So it's like a broken or empty curve that has been attempted to be made by smoothing this curve. So yeah, you cannot really smooth a linear degree curve like this. It just creates this kind of empty object like this. So I'll just delete that. So yeah, in order to smooth the curve, it needs to have some degree to it that will allow smoothness to happen. A linear curve degree does not allow any kind of smoothness to occur. So anyway, that is the curves menu smooth command. Hope you enjoyed the video and uh, enjoyed all these curve commands that we've talked about. I think we're going to switch gears with uh, future videos. As of this recording, we'll move into other areas of Maya and we'll come back to curves uh, another day. Thanks again for watching and I'll talk to you later.